What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So it's been a little bit long since we posted last, probably about a full week now. That's just way too long. Basically what's been happening is that the business is running full time again. We had the full winter off, so it's taken a little bit of time to get back into the efficient groove of things for the summer, but I'm happy to say that we are 100% there now. So it's time to get back to making videos for you guys. What I'm probably gonna do is drop that Monday, Friday upload schedule and just upload as much as possible. I'm assuming that it's gonna be three to four times a week. Now that it's summer or spring, we're not really confined to this little garage anymore. We can be out there doing real detailing, putting up a new building, releasing a new company, and I'm glad to take you guys along for the entire ride. Before we get this video started, I just need to thank every single one of you guys out there for subscribing to this channel, watching this channel, liking videos, disliking videos, commenting on videos, literally anything you have done to contribute to this channel in literally any way is greatly appreciated because we finally just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and it is entirely thanks to you guys out there, so thank you for that. All I've done is basically just press that little red record button, done some keyboard matching on my computer, and we are here. One thing that was super important with us from the start, I didn't wanna share this on other social media platforms. I wanted to try and grow it 100% organically. The main reason being, I wanted to see if people were actually interested in what we were producing. I didn't wanna force feed it down other followers' throats. Sure, I could post it on Instagram, I could post it on Facebook, but they're just gonna be following because they might like me or like other things we've done. I wanted this YouTube channel to be based on the content it produces entirely, and I'm hoping we kind of got there. We definitely have some ways to go, but 1,000. Thank you guys for that. Let's get into this video. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about restoring faded plastic trim pieces with a super clean, super effective, super high quality ceramic coating. None of those messy trim restoring products that a lot of people use. It's super clean, goes on super easy, and gives you super amazing results, which you can see in this 50-50 here. This is the ceramic coated side, this is the non-coated side. Honestly, it is a world of difference. So these plastic trim pieces specifically are from the fender wells of my truck. They go on like this. So they are super high impact areas, which is why they get super chalky, super light gray, super quickly, and they really do end up looking like crap. But what we're gonna show you today works on any plastic trim pieces. Doesn't have to be these pieces specifically. It can work on anything. So just a heads up there. The amount of different processes and products I've seen people try to restore plastic trim pieces like this is honestly kind of incredible. There's been so many in and out of the industry and now with everyone kind of leaning in that nanotech direction, it only makes sense that there's a ceramic coating that is gonna do just as good of a job as anything else and even better. Because any of those products in the past they may be able to bring this gray deep down into this black like this, but they're not gonna add the protection that a ceramic coating does. Some of those other solutions will end up looking super good, but none of them are gonna offer the longevity of the ceramic coating, the hydrophobicity of the ceramic coating, the UV protection of this ceramic coating. So if you're looking for something to really last and stand the test of time, this is what I'm gonna show you today. The ceramic coating that we're going to be using today to take these plastic trim pieces from pretty much a disgusting mess to this perfect black finish is going to be C-Quartz Deluxe. Now this isn't the only ceramic coating you can use. Basically any trim coating is going to have this effect. Some of the absolute best ones in my opinion are C-Quartz Deluxe as well as G-Technic C4 Trim Restore and Gion Trim. So all of those links will be in the description below if you guys want to check them out. One of my favorite things about utilizing ceramic coating to restore plastic trims like this is the actual process itself. Now it's basically just like applying a dressing and in my opinion it's a bit easier and a bit cleaner. So what we're gonna do is utilize the things that come right in the deluxe box itself. So the coating of course, this micro suede applicator. If the plastic piece was flat and larger we'd probably use this block, but because they're so intricate and there's so many tight little areas, all we're gonna do is apply the coating to the micro suede and use our finger to get into all the little crevices. And of course, we're gonna be wearing some nitrile gloves because you don't wanna get the stuff on your skin. So step number one, same process in any detailing job is to protect yourself. So we're gonna put on our nitrile gloves. The second thing is to properly degrease and IPA wipe down the plastic trim pieces. You want to make sure there's absolutely nothing on there so you can get proper adhesion. 
with the plastic and the ceramic coating that you're gonna be using. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that step, so we can move on to coating these pieces. I'm gonna leave this 50-50 just to show you guys what it looked like before. So, we're gonna get started on this piece right here. Grab our micro suede, grab our ceramic coating, give it a little bit of a shake, and then start applying a few drops to this micro suede towel. After you have a few drops on there, we can put the cat back on the deluxe, and then start applying it to our plastic trim piece. spend some time working it in because there are quite a few pores or quite a lot of pores on plastic pieces like this so it's good to go over it a few times and really make sure it's in there. Now as you can see it's already significantly better this is what it looked like before and this is what we're working with now. We are going to level it out with a microfiber towel but it's going to look basically the same as this how it does now. After the towel starts to dry out, you can apply a few more drops to it. And then finish the piece that you're working on. Now that the coating's been applied to the entire plastic piece, I'm gonna wait five full minutes to really let it soak in and absorb into the plastics. This typically gives me the best results. And once that five minutes is up, I'm gonna grab a clean microfiber towel, level out any high areas, and make sure I have the perfect finish. Typically, with plastic pieces, you don't really get that many high spots, but it is always good just to be safe. And this is our finished product. In my opinion, this is a pretty amazing transformation for using something as simple as a ceramic coating. I left this 50-50 here still, so this is the untreated side. This is treated as well as this entire piece is treated. This looks absolutely disgusting compared to what this does. It's not absolutely flawless because this is a, an extremely high impact area on this vehicle in particular, but it does look a hell of a lot better and knowing that this is a semi-permanent solution is peace of mind for you and your customer. It's really cool that this industry has come so far that we can offer things like ceramic coatings, not just under the title of ceramic coatings, but things like trim restoration in this instance. It works amazing, it works basically better than any of those other trim restoration products out there. So if you haven't tried this yet, I strongly suggest you give this a try. Pick up a bottle of Deluxe or G-Technic C4 and I think you'll be extremely pleased. Links will be in the description below and that brings us to the end of this video. So if you guys made it this far, please consider subscribing, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, peace out.